Show me what you got. I got all lion guards. You got all lion guards. Chelsea's got a bunch of her lion guard figures up on the table and she's drawing and tr we're tracing them, huh? Yes. Yeah? And she's so excited. We had like one or two and then she went and got all of them and lined them all up. So are you wanting to draw some more? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Maybe later. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> after a week. After a week? Oh, okay. <laughs> What'd we get? It's from 7 Eleven. 7 Eleven, what? 7 Eleven sent us a box. Wow. Slurpy, bring your own cup day, which is March 18th and 19th, wow. which. And if you're watching right now, it's which today. Which would be today, because. So, Friday, Saturday. We're still on Thursday. Wow. So, Bring your own cup day is when you can literally bring your own cup or whatever and fill it up with Serby. Like oh my goodness. Bring... <laughs> you can bring a bucket. They provided us with a bucket. They gave us a bucket. Oh my goodness. Ooh, and some coupons. So we could bring this bucket and fill it with Slurpee? You can bring this bucket and fill it with Slurpee. That's funny. I mean, anything that can hold. Liquid? <laughs> you got trying to. What can we bring? There has to be a limitation though. You can't show up with like a five gallon bucket. Know. Here, okay. Of course, so I don't know who could drink that. Yeah. Okay, so the 18th and 19th from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Oh, yeah. is bring your own cup day. Hashtag BYO cup day. And you bring your own cup. I like that. 50th birthday celebration, double the love, two slippery filled days on both March 18th and 19th from 11 to 7. You can bring a qualifying cup of your choice and fill up this iconic fresh mint for just $1.50. Everything from sand buckets to key tea kettles to trophies are <laughs> fair game. I oh, if only like we had a big cup. trophy. And then they have Slurpee on Facebook, Twitter, I'll Instagram, and Snapchat. So we've got. I love you so much. <laughs> we've got wow, all those coupons. So a bunch they did, of Slurpee they coupons. The we got a bucket. Are you gonna fill that with Slurpee? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe yeah. means yes. Probably we all know maybe means. And then they sent us uh, one of the regular cups. It almost looks like it's filled with Slurpee. And then a little one for the little ones. Oh, cute. Cool. Oh, I hope the cup. Oh, well. And it does say this year 7 Eleven is taking Slurpee season to the extreme with new Airheads Extremes Rainbow Berry Slurpee, a sweetly sour flavor combination available now exclusive at 7 Eleven. Whoa. Is that what those are? Airhead so Extreme these Bites. Are the Airhead Extreme Bites. Bluest Raz. Oh, yum. Oh, cool. Bluest Raspberry. Mmm, those look good. Two bags of those, bags of those to, try, to those. try. You know we're gonna like those. That was, yeah, it's just and then the all fillings. this fun filling. Oh, so, yeah. that is so cool. You guys can go right now and get yeah. yours. We have to actually wait till tomorrow because it's still Thursday. <laughs> so we have, so yeah, we're gonna take this tomorrow and go get us Slurpee. Friday the 18th, Saturday, Saturday the 19th. Go get yourself a Slurpee. Bring your own cup. Fill it up. Bring a bucket. Bring Heck a bucket. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do, huh, Charles? Okay, so we do need to thank 7 Eleven for sending this. Thank to you. Us. So All cool. All kinds of great coupons. We, we love, love our Slurpees. If you guys Absolutely. have been watching us for a while, you'll know how Forever. often Michael goes and gets Slurpees yeah. all the time. I mean, that's like, oh, it's been a big thing, like, forever, especially. Well, I shouldn't say that because. We didn't have 7-Elevens for the longest time. And then we finally got a bunch of 7-Elevens that yep. popped up everywhere. So and lovely. now we go and get Slurpee. Yeah, Michael, yeah, has, Michael has his big tin cup that he uses. Yeah, my reusable. His reusable one. And he oh, always, it there. there it is. So this big one is his reusable cup that he bought ages ago. And then you pay like a certain price. It's the, is that 32 ounce? Maybe not quite remember. that big, but yeah. We are huge Slurpee fans. This one loves Slurpees. Alex, I love Slurpees. We all do. Especially here in good Florida. Stuff. Yeah. It's so hot. Slurpee yeah. just does the trick. Mm, so good. So thank you, 7 Eleven, for the Slurpee goodness. And candies. And candies. <laughs> Airheads. So good. Now you gotta get some. Yep, we're gonna go get some. <laughs> Show us your green, girlfriend. What's on your shirt? Uh. 
Yoda. Yoda. Chelsea's got her green on. Alex has got her green on. Fun fact, this Pinch. shirt. Hey, I'm wearing green. What you pinching me for? Anyway. <laughs> this shirt. Alex actually has green on her braces, so you could have gotten away with that. But this shirt I've had since like high school. And I could never part with it. I loved it. I got green shirt. Yes, you do have a green shirt too. It was like one of my favorite shirts, so I've kept it for all these years. And I usually wear it on St. Patrick's Day, but last year I decided to get a newer shirt because I don't know. I was just Your poor shirt. Yeah, well, so I still kept it though. I still like it. Locked so, up in your closet, and never to see the light again. <laughs> we got our green shamrock up in the hallway. It's the last day for we can't that. Pinch the house now. Can't pinch the house. The house is wearing green. And then can't I'm wearing my um, SpongeBob Patrick shirt. It says it's St. Patrick's Day. I had. To, I'm like reading it from up above. I got this last year after St. Patrick's Day. I found it you and I really it liked fully it. Fully in view. I didn't get it fully in view. Alex is gonna show, whoa, <laughs> drop the camera. <laughs> gonna show you the full view. Here's my St. Patrick's Day shirt. You can help me show it. And last night, I, we were sitting on the couch and I said to Michael, oh, don't forget tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day, you need to wear green. He was wearing his only green shirt yesterday. <laughs> He's like, this is the only green shirt I have. <laughs> so we were kind of laughing about it. How Chelsea eats a slice of cake. She picks it up and eats it like a cupcake, and she's just eating the top part, I think. Is it yummy? Mm hmm. It's so good. It's so it good. It has chocolate on it. It does have chocolate on it. It's all chocolate. Chocolate cake, chocolate frosting. Mmm. How come you're not using your fork? <laughs> I think half of the frosting you've eaten is on your face still. These two are cold. <laughs> it's freezing in here. It is I 79. Don't care what that says. 79. The air is on and it is freezing. It's 79 degrees in here. It is not 79. Michael's like, it is too. We already know that thing's broken. Michael's like, I'm cold, I'm getting under the blanket, and Chelsea's like, I come too. Oh, you two are just the perfect pair. You can just snuggle and stay warm under the blankie. Thank you. She's like the biggest little helper. She really is. Thank you. Here, Mommy keeps this one out, though. And this one out, too. How about the, the white paddle? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cutting board. She wants to help. Like, she seeks out ways to help you. I don't want you touching that stuff either. <laughs> It's time for the question of the day. Today's question comes from Tiny Love for AJ. <laughs> and the question is, would you, I guess, would you rather be an expert at math or history? I think, is Eddie barking? Yeah, he's out back. I would want to do history because I don't like math and history is more interesting, in my opinion, because then like you could see a building if it was historic and you could tell everyone the history of the building and math it's just you could wow people by subtracting. <laughs> you needed math to build that building. Yeah, lots of it. I'll go with history just because I like history. I like yeah. math too, but and I think you'd probably make more money with math. <laughs> yeah. Like you, you can could make, contribute. You could be a history teacher. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> But you could probably contribute more to society if you were a very good mathematician. See, and that's my answer. I want to say math because then, like, there's so many different formulas that you could come up with to, like, um, heal diseases and because of, like, m medicinal purposes or whatever. I would think that there'd be so many more good things that you could do with that, with math. <laughs> well, I don't know. Be the like what? Person over here. Well, no, well, not horrible. that you would be horrible. I said the same thing. Yeah, horrible people. No, <laughs> well, like it's history's fun, but you could teach people all day, and they'll repeat history and screw up time and time and time again. So yeah, history is just fun to know. It is fun to know. I would think it would be. I would think it would be pretty impressive too, because you would know a, a whole lot of things. Yeah, but yeah, like I, I would want to be able to. I mean, you could 
repeat math to someone, they just get kind of bored. You could repeat history to someone, they'd well, be interested. Well, it's the same thing, though. People, well, there's a lot of people who could care less about history. <laughs> but I would think history would be easier to teach than yeah. math. Because people get confused in math. I get confused in math a lot. Yeah. Math is confusing. <laughs> yeah. So I want to know from you guys, would you rather be an expert at math or history? We'll leave it in the comments below.